Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Firewatch where we we have seen a rucksack right I think it was a red one which we obviously will go to maybe even I, 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 well, I I'm quite certain that we are gonna make it in today's episode let's actually see let's crack on I am because of that hey, I'm scouting everything um, Mexico is this some sort of riddle I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Alright, thank you. Thank you for the information, my lady. If I take a look to the map again, that should be... I'm always using it wrong. Yeah, okay. Then we need to go a little to the right or a little east. The medicine wheel. We are gonna need to take a look at that at, at, at one point. That's definitely where I've not yet been. And clean up. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Yeah, and if we... Yeah, ex ah, well, no, that we one. I, 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 I mean, there's one piece we haven't scouted. And this is the upper path, which I will now um, take before we go through the rocks. Right? Forgive me. This is sometimes in RPG games mostly where I want to loot. Found another. Roger that. But in this game, it is definitely not for cleaning up, I can promise you. It is just for um, scouting and the, not adventure, but, you know, the desire to see, you know? In a way, even though I know it's technically, practically, actually not bringing us anything except a nice view. Alright, good. See, that's what I wanted to say too. It is really, really quick. Short ways. So let's then crack on and I wonder what we are going to find out. Are we going to find two teens? Are they going to be in trouble? How are they going to react to us? I don't know yet. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you. It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. So I would say then, even though the game is not telling us it's stomped out, I would just say it's stomped out. Huh. Pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's 
unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Okay, nothing to clean up. One last stompy stompy. And then let's go over to that location. That got... The tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Yeah, in a sec, I first of all want to read it. Dear Psycho, I guess he, they, me, nas. I hope you're fucking happy we are leaving and we are going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creep on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. Is gross out, you are probably mental fucking ex-murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Hmm. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? I'm threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No, oh, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Day three. I wanted to hold it. I mean, to put it away, actually. So finally, a day's work done, right? Okay, and the work of day three. Find boards downstairs to patch window. Hey, That's Henry? actually good. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Good. Because I'm horribly superficial. Did Tom Cruise already live in that time? I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh, 
Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. Uh, they're happy, I think. I mean, I've been told they look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. And she did call us... She did say our real name, well, real name, but she called us the right name, um, actually. Now, wait, 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 this is an un... That ain't good. Well, we need uh, to find a couple more blanks. Um, I see a third one. I... We then, I guess, still need a few more, I guess, right? Okay, now, bought up, so three... It were all right. Good. Then let's quickly. I think we can. Wait, wait, wait. That was on the way, anyways. Oh, I wouldn't even need it to go that far. Why didn't I see that? And here I was thinking. Oh boy, you have taken a good look there, and totally did not see the easy bots around, right? But yeah. Well, it happens. Yeah, three. We, I collected too, too many, but well, anyways. That shall not be a problem now. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Day 9 Hello Henry, having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Oh no. I didn't do anything to them. What about their camp? That wasn't me, you know that. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Well, but you go oh, day 15. Guys, that actually is a good spot to end it. And we are going to hop through them days in Henry. the next episode Henry, to m tomorrow.
Guys, sorry, uh, tomorrow, for now, you know, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed today's episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next wonderful little episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.